Hello and welcome to Memory 130 of the WDW Memories Podcast. My name is Lou and I'll once again be your host as we take this journey into another Walt Disney World memory. Merry Christmas everybody! Uh, it's time for our annual Christmas time memory, a tradition I started back in my first year of doing the podcast back in 2006. Each year I've been releasing either special audio or a special video and today it's no different. Today we're going to watch a video of a group that I've always loved at Epcot and I'm very sad to say that I'll never get to see them again there. Today we're going to watch the World Showcase players do a retelling of Camelot while in the UK Pavilion. We'll keep this short. We're heading back to March of 2005. Tracy and I have come to Epcot today with our parents to enjoy the Flower and Garden Festival. We've just finished seeing the Voices of Liberty, stopped for a bit to watch Matsurita in Japan, and happened to be passing by the UK Pavilion when we saw a large crowd gathering. So I quickly pulled out the video camera and, you know, waved my family, come on, come on, come on. And boy, am I glad I did, because it was a great show of Camelot that was just beginning. We'll find a spot to view the show from. I'm sorry for those watching on the video. The initial jostling about as I get into the position, it's a little bad. But it settles down, and we'll get a great spot to soak in the show from here. Again, I'm sorry these guys had to go, but I understand, you know, grow and change and evolve. That's always a good thing, but this was what I thought was one of the best audience participation shows in all of Epcot. I hope wherever this troupe has ended up, they are still entertaining guests with more great stories and skits. So, like always, if you like this show and want to see and hear more like it, uh, stop by the WDW Memories website at www-memories.net. Now sit back, relax, close your eyes, and come with me as we give a final viewing to a favorite show at Epcot. And we're very happy to be home for you. Right, wait till you see it. Right, that classic tale of your... It takes place many years ago in the fabulous castle known as Camelot. Now inside of this fabulous castle, there lived a man. He was a wise and well-intentioned king. His name was... You people up for it, you king of all right. Now Arthur, he was brave. He was uh, adventurous. Right, he did. He was also very intelligent. Yeah, he was a very smart kind of sort of man. Right, let me tell you how smart he was. He was the only one in the entire kingdom who happened to own his own crown. Man, so we're gonna find someone in a theme park with a crown. It's the king of the gutter! Yeah. Alright, well, bring his hiney hither. No. Bring his what? Well, bring him all here. Yeah, all his hiney. Oh, no, no, look at him, he's very wrinkly. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
with a nifty piece of furniture by the name of the Round Table. Uh -huh. Now, round me round table, nice, just Hello, like this one. Hello. We gather to make plans against evil and injustice. Look at that. We're going to put bags over the head and kick them off the... Just made that up. Yeah. yeah, all right. Well, we'll cut something up. All right, well, never mind. These were actually successful. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't have a plan, you just going right in here. I'm coming back. <laughs> okay. So you know you all. So challenging. Yeah, all right. <laughs> 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 oh, yes, yeah, yeah. it is. Let me do it all. It's right. All right, now, everybody. The plans were actually successful despite the micromanagement of the king. <laughs> right? So, the night soon found they had nothing to do. Right, you nothing worse than having a restless night. A blue head baby! A blue head baby! Yeah, get used to it, it gets a lot worse. Yes, it does. So, pondering his problem, good King Arthur. No! Yeah, the king. Yeah, he's got a lot of money. Give him any horses if he wants. What? 
and she said, I am the Lord. You need my Hebrew Shabbat. Shall receive the Holy. Hey, Rachel, what did you think of it? Uh, 